data like became a thing because i know a lot of the arguments that have gone on out there is like yo crack players are going to be fucking insane they're going to be winning all the tournaments when the game drops right this that and the other because they've been labbing ever since i don't know fucking november whenever the first beta dropped and i didn't believe that was going to be the case because there's no way capcom isn't going to be aware of this and they're going to do what i suspected which is they're going to alter whatever we get day one of the game there's going to be alterations in terms of Worse. the frame data the way some characters are playing because everything we did is subject to be changed even when we were playing the beta it's like this is great this is all tech that's going to be like working in the beta that does not mean it's going to work in the final retail version which has basically already started to show inklings of uh, if you took to twitter got to check out some of your uh, favorite players out there and personalities uh, ally joe posted up that night uh there are changes ryu's nerfed stating that his crouching fierce frame data has uh has to be changed as in like stand medium punch to crouch medium hard punch or something like that oh no excuse me he says he used to be able to drive rush uh crouching heavy punch to stand medium punch doesn't work anymore uh, it could be a universal nerf across the board, but I haven't seen much on the Luke side as of yet. But we haven't seen the footage either, but there, there's going to be changes. And this is kind of, I guess, a way for Capcom to to, to kind of show that like, you know, hey, yeah, you the beta crackers are having your fun, but that doesn't mean it's going to be in full effect by the time the game actually comes out. Because, it, you know, there, I don't, I don't want to say it's everything, but at least some things will definitely be uh, be, be tweaked out. And that isn't the only case either. We're seeing also some some changes that I don't, I don't know if these were actually necessarily something that changed, but I don't re remember this being a thing as much in the beta, which was like yeah. seeing uh, like projectile drive rush, par uh, parry to drive rush like punishes. I, I, I don't know if this is new to the beta. To be honest, I just started seeing the tech. This was sent to us by the homie MJ. And it was like, yo, this is this is kind of gross where you can like almost like perfect you can perfect parry projectile, but then get into dragon rush. Dragon rush. Drive rush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's never it's never going to stop. I just want y'all to yeah, know I, I I've given I up. This, I've given up. I saw this footage earlier and then as I was playing the demo and I'm fighting against like the the computer by the way, a lot of people are doing this computer level eight challenge these yeah. days. And <laughs> yeah. I was trying to fight to do it, trying to parry through it. I could not ever perfect parry a fireball mm, yeah it's, um, it's a little it's a little little interesting to do yeah for sure but yeah the the tech is is going to be interesting we're already seeing changes as to how maybe the game's going to already evolve or the directions that they've taken from the first couple betas which is great because it's the game's not going to feel like the crack being out took away anything from it right that's right. that's the big thing like a lot of people were afraid that by the time the game came out because there is a thing about fighting games especially modern fighting games from since 2009 right fighting games have developed in other words their life development has gotten shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter with every release of whatever the fighting game is like we because we're now we're in such an age of information and sharing tech and twitter and all this like games get figured out so, like metas metas i'm talking about metas this yeah. is purely in a competitive you know competitive standpoint right what's viable what's meta it gets shorter every fucking time a new game comes out and with yeah. a crack being out there like you know all these characters have so much tech to them already and the game is at right. negative, you know, it's at negative 30, was it 38 days, right? Like, it's insane. So they, ha you know, a lot of people were worried that the game's just gonna get figured out so fast that it's gonna end up being a little bland because of it, because due to the effects of the crack. But like I said, with Capcom initializing these kinds of changes, that just means we're just gonna have new interactions, new new things that we're gonna we're gonna have to do almost a fresh start. Not a full fresh start, but a pretty good fresh start. So, you know, for those that were kind of dooming and glooming about the 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 crack, you know, I wouldn't sweat it too much. As a matter of fact, if once April twenty sixth comes out and this game gets cracked, I also would not worry about it because they'll probably change it again from from here to from now till then anyway. Just my two cents on yeah, it. Right. I mean, yeah, it's it's almost like no point, and you're gonna be fighting like ten other characters that are not in in the crack beta yet. Like, 
those people are going to be starting from square one anyway. Yeah, this is going to be plus, I mean, so many players luck, starting from luck, square one. Good luck if uh, Dawson can cancel his far normals. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, there's so yeah. much we're still dreading because there's still so many characters we haven't had a chance to play against, right? And speaking of characters we haven't had a chance to play against, I mean, we had the DLC schedule given, given to us, which is also amazing, right? So Rashid will be coming this summer. We then will have, uh, what is it? I, 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 is it her name? What is her name? Aiki? I, Io? What the hell is her name? I don't recall. I'm not in front of me. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Well, Fang's, Fang's Disciple. Yeah. She's coming out fall of this year. Is it fall? Am I thinking fall? Uh, yeah. Fall. Aki. Thank you. Fall this year. Ed is going to be coming back winter of 2024. So starting, you know, January. And then we get Akuma for for spring of next year, uh, or it was summer, spring or summer, Wh whichever way. It's twenty twenty four. We're not going to be seeing Goki anytime soon. But also the crazy part about it is two things. One, the DLC or rather the leaked DLC characters that we covered way back when was definitely correct. But then two, like the frame data and such that we've seen changes on, uh, we're seeing kind of a little bit of a facelift too. Like Akuma looks different now than the initial design that we saw him in, in that original leak. He's now got white hair. He looks way more savage. Uh, I, I really don't really know what else to, to, to say about that. But like, you know, that's just to, to show you, like we, we you need to keep, uh, keep, keep an eye, keep an eye on all this stuff because Capcom is gonna, you know, flip the script on us. Don't expect to know everything that's gonna come out uh, or, or the directions they're gonna take with everything. Because look, they've definitely been hard at work to to still give us one hell of an experience once the game does actually drop. Yeah, my boy Rashid lost the scouter apparently. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have that anymore, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, no and, more, no uh, more scouter. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm liking where it's going. Uh, I wish it wasn't so far spread out. It seems like they're coming in seasons. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Rashid, one one Rashid per season. summer, Aki the fall, uh, Ed winter, and Akuma spring. So. Yep. Uh, feels kind of far for Akuma, and I don't know why Akuma is now being DLC again. You know, Listen, man, because he's paid to win, baby. He's paid to win. Uh, but yeah. it's great. It's crazy that we're getting Akuma from Tekken in the game. I'm pretty. I'm pretty stoked about that. I don't know about you, but it's cool that we're seeing that cross. We're finally getting our, our Tekken X Street Fighter or Street Fighter X Tekken. Did you say Akuma two. from Tekken? Yeah, that's Akuma from Tekken, no. right? Yeah, it's a cool one from Tech. Oh, no, it's Sephiroth from Smash. <laughs> oh, Sephiroth from Smash? from Smash. Though. Yo, Ryu from Smash got his own game? That's crazy. That's sick. That's Cloud from Smush. No. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, so the, the showcase was, I think, what it was intended to do. Uh, did what it was intended to do, which was really show show off that one that single-player content. Get us excited for what's coming up. The demo is doing its thing right now. But we're just going to have to wait and see until, you know, April 26th if anything else developed. And we got to see Cammy go against the truck, which was also pretty cool. Got to see her her, her, her face, uh, her, 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 oh, some yeah. of her reactions anyway to it. We got to see a couple other things, oh. you know, like Manon's uh, critical art and such. There were little little things sprinkled around if you, if you look hard enough. That's right. There's another thing that was included in the um, demo was the special battles. With the bull and the knockdowns like if you get five yeah yeah Ex extreme win, extreme battles or, yeah extreme yeah, battles yeah those things so there's some of that some of that fun stuff is in there too and it's multiplayer by the way the demo so yes i'm um, looking forward to playing with others but um you know what if you i mean hey crazy idea run a local right for you and luke right <laughs> crazy i forgot actually no i think i saw where did I see that somebody was having a get together and they uh, and they were showing off pictures and they had like some setups with with the yeah. demo in it already. It's like, yeah, just do it. Why the hell not? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd, it's I'd two 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 very money. bland characters for me. Yeah, right. Two very bland characters for me. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just got to wait a little bit longer. That's perfectly fine. Right. I mean, you know, I think this is a really good opportunity. And you said you were we were we were a little disappointed that it wasn't a lot of more characters. But honestly, extremely I think disappointed. Oh god! So I think many disappointed. It looks like it's an early type of build, but then again, it's not. I say early because it has the only three matches, and yeah. then you booted. That's weird. Yeah, that's still like, come on, man! I already downloaded it. Just let me, just right. let me have this, right. please. It's just not a display demo. 
Yeah, let me have this Capcom. Right. I know you're still salty about the crack, but I mean, Street Fighter Five was also cracked. I don't see any anybody else tripping out about that. But what we do see people tripping out about, uh, not tripping hard, but uh, I don't know if you saw the actual tweet from Momochi about uh, thoughts on the 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 Street Fighter Six crack, uh, where yeah, send me. yeah, so Momochi did take the Twitter, and it was it was cha- it was uh, translated uh, by Juna. Or rather, Juno, you know, posted a translation stating, uh, this is what Momochi said, saying, I feel like those playing on the crack version should be permanently, permanently banned. Capcom is being too soft. There are certain overseas players who ha- uh, who have even shown the crack on t- on stream or tweeted it out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Because you know what? Uh, a part of me is like, I get it. Absolutely. I... I, 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 I if you are do are doing this with the sole intentions of trying to get money, go into tournaments and just get an advantage, then yeah, you should you should not be allowed, right? Like I think it was early on, you know, with, with those early tournaments uh, with um, who was it? Was it Chris Tatarian? Uh, or there was a couple players like that were just the beta like, tournaments. Yeah, the beta tournaments that people were like up and up in arms about it because he won or some people won and. They're like known for using the crack and such. Um, it's like you know what, it, you know, a band of testers, blah blah blah, all that that whole thing again. Listen, if you get caught, like that's on you. I I think you shouldn't go to tournaments to with the intentions of of you know trying to hit all the tournaments with intentions of trying to make the money. Mm. Uh, two, you know, the real players will always succeed. Like yes, crack yeah. player, the crack players are gonna have an advantage maybe for a week. But, it's, but if they're not good, like, trust, like, that, that advantage will not last long. So I wouldn't sweat it. You remember when Justin Wong had an early access to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? And yeah. he entered, a, he didn't enter a tournament, but he showed up. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, him versus F Champ. And we knew F Champ was good. But then Justin Wong just beat him with Nova Ultron. Just, like, yeah. straight 5-0. Yeah. I'm like, geez. And it's not that it's killing the game, but that is sort of, like, it's pretty there's demeaning. a little bit of humble humbled himself to not like enter yeah other people time but at the same time like um like i said again earlier with those new characters coming out like we all still or we we were all still gonna have to learn them at the same time yeah so even crack players whatever chris t or whoever said that and chris t admitted that he had access to it but he's also a full-time teacher like yeah, a chemistry teacher or something. I don't believe. Um, I don't unbelieve how this shit. Once that dude that made the Tekken World Tour, you know, finals, and he had a job, kids and stuff. I'm like, bro, I don't. Nobody got an excuse for not having time. I don't care. I don't care. But right, they could. The, they could sacrifice sleep. Right. The one thing. The one thing I do. I do also want to bring up. It's like you know, Japan's historically has had access to versions of the game early. Not this game, but you know, historically, Street Fighter Four, Tekken Seven was a whole fucking year. Before it even yeah. made its way outside of Japan into NA for 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 Tekken Cats to actually play at home, it was just in arcades, right? Like, it's like, listen, bro, no one no one gave a shit then. I mean, sure, I know now it's like by not the best means because it was technically it's an illegal crack, right? You shouldn't have, you, you're not allowed to do that. But it is what it is, son. The Pandora's box has been open. You can't put everything back. So just go on for the ride. Don't worry. Your Ken yeah. is still going to be disgusting. Yeah. We're all going to fucking enjoy it. You know. That game is toothpaste. Don't act, don't act like. Can't get it back in the bottle. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, where's this going? <laughs> Something about brushing your teeth. But no. listen, man. Don't act like. Don't act like. <laughs> Momoshi, don't act like you don't already play the game at some point or have it been in the Capcom offices playing the shit or play testing for them. Stop.